Have you been struggling to beat this guy right here? It's okay to admit it, I've been there too with a lot of characters. There's some characters that I just hate playing against, that I struggle against a lot. One of them, of course, being Superman. I hate this character, cannot stand him. But Banana Guard is a character that I think I have gotten pretty good at playing against. And even though he is a really good character, I do think he's very beatable, but a lot of people keep making the same mistakes against this character. So today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how to beat Banana Guard, that way you stop losing to him so much. Because he is very beginner friendly, he's very easy to use, which means that he's very easy to spam certain attacks with and some of his attacks are crazy strong and before you go to the comments asking where i got this skin because everybody asks me this question when i stream literally every single time this was a skin that was given out on launch day they gave out some codes um you had to join some kind of weird like dance party kind of video thing it was like a live stream and then they gave out codes and you had to get lucky to get the skin i got lucky so i got the skin but yeah i don't think you can get it right now i think it's unavailable for everybody else but that's how i got the skin so if you were wondering that's how we got it so like i said earlier banana guard is actually one of the easiest characters to pick up in this game and he actually might be the easiest character in my opinion i think he's very easy to pick up for newer players because some of his attacks are just very strong of course you have his side special which is like his strongest move it kills off the side of the stage very early on if you hit it off stage around here it's going to kill like every single time it is very broken um they did nerf it a little bit but i think they should probably nerf it a little bit more just because it's very easy to use it's kind of crazy to me that they have characters like taz where they kind of nerfed his tornado to the ground and it essentially kind of did the same thing that his side special does here like both would kill right here very early and banana guard can still do it and taz cannot well at least with taz he has like a cooldown with banana guard you can literally just spam this right here all day like nothing stopping you at all from from not doing that i also think his side attack in the air is another one of his very strong moves right here um it's very very strong combos into itself it just hits very hard so between that and just side special like you can kill off the side all day and unlike a lot of other characters that kill from the top this is the character that's going to mostly be killing off the side of the stage now aside from that banana guard has a lot of other really good moves and better banana guard players will go for these if it's a newer person you know the person the type of person that picks up his character just to kind of spam with them or just kind of abuse the strong moves they're not going to go for these moves but these are some of the better moves right here in my opinion the first one is just your neutral attack right here this is such a good move this is like my favorite approach option because you can literally go for this into like anything else you can go into down air you can go into up air you can go into anything else this is like your combo starter right here and i feel like a lot of banana guard players do not go for it at all but honestly this is like one of the better moves in the game i think it like basically follows up into whatever you want so it's just a really good move you can just follow up with literally anything and yeah it's like one of his best tools his up attack is also really strong it doesn't really kill like too early but it is a good option to kind of just juggle people it'll kind of combo into itself so it can be a good option to kill kind of later on but yeah it's not not too too crazy and the last really strong move i want to point out here is the up strong attack this is a very good attack at catching people in the air so this is something to watch out for when you're playing against banana guard um this is an attack that will combo into up air a lot of times that kind of like mid percentages it'll kind of just combo you can start juggling people so that's something that i go for a lot um i think it kind of throws people off guard sometimes and yeah you just got to kind of watch out for that it's kind of your like vertical option right there with banana guard so uh, some banana guard players will try to go for that on you as well now the big key to playing against banana guard is you have to be watching the other person right i've, I've talked about this a lot in my other videos um one thing that a lot of people do especially newer players in fighting games is you're just focused on your own character you're focused on, you know, how can I hit this person as many times as possible? What you really need to focus on is what is the other person doing? Now, this is especially true for a character like Banana Guard because you'll see right here, I'll go for side special, right? But it kind of takes a second for it to start up, right? So if I'm further away, like you have plenty of time to see that it's coming at you, right? And if that's the case, you have plenty of time to parry. Now that's one thing that a lot of people aren't doing is they aren't parrying. Parrying is such a good option because it basically just gives you the opportunity to go for anything that you want to. It freezes your opponent for a second. At high percentages, you can kill them right off the bat. At lower or mid percentages, you can start your combos. It's a great tool and not a lot of people do it. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and parry this. Forward air, you start going for attacks. That's already 30% right there, 41% off of a parry right there, easy. Now this is something that takes practice, of course. You know, if you don't parry a lot or you haven't done it before, I recommend checking out a video. I, I made a video about it, kind of talking about how you can practice that better. But it's definitely a skill where like, if you want to get better at this game, it's something that you have to kind of learn. Even if you don't go over it all the time, it's definitely something to learn. Because again, you can just go ahead and parry something and just start getting lots of damage off for free, essentially. That's, that's what you get to do off of that. And this is especially true, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of times Banana Guard is gonna to try to kill right here with side special. You're gonna see it coming all day. And what can you do? You can parry in the air. So in the air, if you press the dodge button and you don't dodge in a certain direction, 
then you will actually be able to parry them if you time it correctly. And unlike the ground where it comes out like relatively fast, in the air you see that like it takes a minute for it to come out. It takes a long time for side special to come out. So once you kind of figure out the timing and when it's actually going to come out at you, then you can basically learn how to parry it and you can start parrying it every single time. Because if he goes for it right here, if Banana Guard tries to get you right here, you can parry it and you can basically hit them off stage and get the early kill yourself. So my first big piece of advice here is to learn how to parry and learn how to do it well because it will save you a ton against Banana Guard. People complain about this character because anybody can pick them up and start doing this right here and that gets very predictable which means that you can parry it every single time and they're gonna have to figure something else out. I also think it's important to kind of mix up your dodges every now and then. A lot of times people will always just dodge in like this. You'll start getting juggled and your first instinct is to dodge in like this. But remember you can dodge in all four directions and you can just mix it up every now and then so if you keep getting hit in the same exact combo and you have that chance to dodge and they keep catching you on that try to dodge a different direction or just try to wait a second and then dodge i think just kind of mixing up your options kind of paying attention to what you're doing hopped in and it's going to really help you kind of get out of those situations and in the long run it will help you win a lot more games now this piece of advice is a little bit more character specific but i do recommend if you have a character with a really solid projectile I do think it's a good idea to kind of zone against Banana Guard. Now, I'm not saying just run away the entire time because eventually that gets very predictable like we've been talking about so far. But you don't always have to rush this character down. Like if you have a character that can kind of sit back a little bit, then I definitely recommend you do that because one weakness to Banana Guard is that he has no projectiles. I think it'd be really cool if he could throw his spear, but they decided not to give him that. So he is a melee character. He has to play up close. And if you have a way to kind of shut him down from far away, then use that to your advantage. A lot of his moves in general do kind of have that end lag to it. So if you can kind of like predict what they're going to do, like if they keep going for the exact same thing, you can kind of use that to your advantage and figure out what they're doing and play around it. Like for example, this move right here, it kind of has that end lag to it. What can you do in this situation? Instead of getting hit by it, just jump above them, hit them from above, or jump behind them, hit them from behind. That's all you have to really do. Again, this is a very strong character, but it's mostly because of a few moves that he has that a lot of people tend to abuse. Again, it's the side special. It's the forward attack right here. Uh, I think this is a strong move, but not too broken, but you, you get what I'm saying. In general, you mainly have to watch out from dying on the sides of the stage, not so much off the top, so a lot of times you can kind of play more in the air, kind of towards the middle of the stage, and I would recommend trying to stay away from the ledges because a lot of times you would just die super early. But now that I've given you guys some advice on how to beat Banana Guard, let's see if anybody can beat my Banana Guard. Now I will say this character, in my opinion, is a lot of fun. I do like playing him every time I switch to him and I'm streaming, people just call me out for playing a no scope character, and what do you know, we are playing against a Banana Guard, so let's go ahead see who comes out on top here i promise this is not scripted but this is actually perfect here you guys get to see it in action let's see what this banana guard player does and how i can beat let's see if they go for the side special right off the bat no oh yep there it is okay okay i'm just kind of like feeling him out right now i want to see what he does first just kind of pressing buttons uh-huh uh-huh Okay, okay. See, it kind of helps that I'm on this stage because <laughs> you can't really always kill up the sides. So that's actually kind of nice. <laughs> up there, they dodged. Yeah, okay, okay. Watch this side special. I'm telling you, you gotta watch out on these ledges right here. It's it's always gonna happen, you know. Not sure what that was. Ooh, this dude's getting cooked. Okay. Harry. Dodge. But you see what I mean? How people like, like to dodge in every single time. It just, it's one of those things that always happens, I feel like. This man is dodging. Okay. Harry. Big damage. Ooh, okay, got me, he got me. And up here's gonna kill. I'm sad my salt emote doesn't work. I don't know what they did. I think emotes are super bugged right now. Seems to not be working for anybody. So as I said like before, um this banana guard player right here. Every time I get him off stage, what does he do? He dodges in. Everybody tends to do that. It's like the natural instinct right there. And again, he keeps going for side special. What am I trying to do? I'm parrying it. It allows me to just do more damage and kind of force him to stop going for that so much. 
That's how I messed it up, but you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> up there. He's gonna dodge. Uh huh. He's gonna dodge again. I can go for time special. He's gonna dodge again. That's what they all do, I'm telling you, man. They all do it every single time. Yeah, that side special is way slower in the air, so you can use that to your advantage a lot of times. He's gonna dodge every single time. That's all this guy's doing. Ooh, he actually buried me, but I don't think he even expects that. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing you could do too, is every time he's going for that, you can just jump above him. That's all you have to do. If they go forward in the air, it's super slow. If they go forward on the ground, you can literally just jump over it. It's a very strong move, don't get me wrong. If you get hit by it, of course it's very strong, but there's, there's plenty of ways to avoid it. But yeah, that's just a few tips right there on how to beat Banana Guard. I hope that's kind of helpful a little bit. If you have any questions or you struggle against anything with Banana Guard, let me know in the comments below. And let me know if this was helpful or if there's other characters that you struggle against maybe that you kind of want to guide for. I'm by no means the best player in the world of this game, but I have been playing for a little while. I do kind of know how to beat certain characters, you know, pretty consistently. Recently, so I'm happy to try to help where I can and if you did find this video helpful or you enjoyed it Please be sure to subscribe to the channel help me get to 10,000 subscribers. We're about 1100 away You can see the little timer thing on the bottom right of the screen here We're trying to get that to go up a little bit here to 10,000 so that would help a lot But yeah, I hope you guys are still enjoying multiverses. There are some fixes on the way I'm hoping we get ranked pretty soon, but we will have to wait and see and yeah other than that I've got nothing else for you guys Hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you all in the next one